In fact, seeing what needs to be done to your baby is really about the daily life things in this first phase of pregnancy. Not much you can do one way or the other. I'm going to just tell you a story instead. <laughs> okay. There is a culture in which women learn to weave very early in life. So they were taught very early in life and the age that kids can really be taught sophisticated skills is beginning to be around the age of three or four and particularly at six. So in South America, three and four year olds take the llamas and alpacas out to the field and you'll often see them learning to knit and they'll have clothes hangers and this three or four or five year old will be walking behind the llamas learning to knit. They're learning. But six or seven, you can really be more conscious of skills. So in this culture, women were taught to weave around six or seven. They sat in front of the loom most of the day weaving, and they became quite good at it. But when they got pregnant with their first children, it was, a, it was taboo in their culture to weave. And they didn't weave again for years and years and years. In fact, until they moved out of their childbearing period. So that could be, what, 10 years, 20 years. Then they went back to weave. But what was amazing was that they went back as master weavers. Now, why is this? Because if you learn a skill and you don't use that skill for a long time, but you come back, you have grown, you've matured, you felt more competent, confident, and capable in other areas of your life. And you apply those skills to that first task. Remember, we were told once you learn to ride a bike, you never forget to ride a bike. That's true, but you also go back to riding a bike more confidently. As humans, we refine skills once we've learned them. And when we come back after a period of time being away from them, we will be better. So seeing what needs to be done and doing it gets better the more you do it.